This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. You know, sometimes it'd be nice to have a more natural little little um, handle here on these drawers. These just have a steel handle, a little steel knob which is threaded in. But as a, as a hunter, I've acquired some of these parts, these little uh, base of the antler. And man, I think that'd be neat to turn these into a, uh, a handle. For these drawers and I've got a number of these that I think would look pretty nice let's see if we could do that so when we look at this threaded knob we've got this much screw length which I think will be adequate because I believe we can thread these and these are basically almost like bone very hard we'll drill it tap it and we'll tap it with a thread that matches this screw and it should hold very nicely So I have a bunch of wood taps, taps made specifically for wood, but I think they'll work well on the on this bone of these these antlers. I bought three of these from the Wood Whisperer, and I bought the other ones from Infinity. Okay, first thing we're going to do is drill a 7 16 hole here. We can drill it this way. And that's what we're going to use to make our first hole in our knobs. Here's some of the things out of my drawer. And center that. Same for this other knob. Now we'll tap these. We're also going to drill out this final hole because our final screw is going to be a quarter inch. Clean it up a little. All right, let's tap these. So the reason I drilled these with these flush up against the door face was so I can get this area flush with the drawer. I measured the amount of thread that was out when this goes through the drawer which is this much and so we're going to drill the hole to be at least that length and we'll just mark it so we don't drill beyond it because it's unnecessary so we'll put the drill bit next to this tape it here and we don't need to drill any deeper than that because that's going to make it to the mark we need so we'll check this up and just very carefully continue our drilling with this. Okay, that's enough. Okay, there we go. Now we'll tap these. So these are the <coughs> Wood Whisperer taps. Made in USA, which are nice. This is the quarter by 20 Wood Whisperer tap. It has a hex shank, which will work in one of these nice normal taps. It also can work in a 
a hex drive such as this but I want to be super careful with this when I tap it so I'm going to do it by hand and this antler material is pretty soft so it's actually tapping really nicely but I've got a I remember a lot of thread here so it should have a good grip now if this was really hard metal I go back and forth multiple times taking all of the waste out but it's fairly soft I know in the uh, late fall early 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 spring when the antlers fall off called the drop boy the other animals in the forest love that because of all the minerals and things and they eat those up they're very nutritious for the other animals so this should fit our quarter by 20 bolt so just to be sure that our bolts are, are really nicely threaded we'll cut this we'll go back through and retap this again at a quarter by 20 just to be certain that the threads are just perfect very sharp and this should help it cut into the the bone even more into the antler even more antler is not bone it's a fibrous product This will undoubtedly make these threads a lot sharper and much more precise. Yeah, looks a lot cleaner. So let's see how this. Yeah, it goes in a lot better. I'll wax this probably. Yeah, I might even drill this out just a little bit more deeper, longer, longer hole so the tap goes all the way to the bottom. Because this is not really a bottoming tap. I mean, it kind of is, but the threads at the very tip aren't going to cut. So I'm going to deepen the hole a little bit and tap it in a little further. So now we've threaded this all the way in. I've waxed it a little bit. We'll take it out. And I think we're ready to install our first antler drawer knob. I'll wax it up a little bit more, but there we go. So we'll take our bolt, we'll just wax it up a little bit. Put it through our hole here. Spin that tight. Get it oriented the way I want it. And just further tighten it up. There you go. Boy, that's nice. So we've got about 10 more of those to do to complete our setup here.